Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this, we got this, we got this. Come on, speed it up. Good work, good work. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh no, look like Mikey got hurt. Hey, it's okay, bring it home, bring it home. Come on, come on. It's not looking too good. Don't lose hope, we can still win this. Hey, come on, come on, faster, faster. Get to me, I'll do the rest, you got this. Woo, yeah. Come on, come on. Go play. So far behind, he's not gonna catch him. I think he can, he's the best runner we've got. Come on, Blake. Let's go, on, you let's got go, this. Let's go, yeah, let's, let's go. go. There we go, let's there go. we go. Yeah, come there we go, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Blue team. Oh, let's yeah, go. let's go. Blue team wins the quarterfinals. All right, Blake. Woo, woo. There you go, Blake. <laughs> Amazing job, guys. That was incredible. Thanks, coach, but it was all thanks to Blake. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to you, we're going to the semifinals. Yeah. Woo! Yes. <laughs> they don't call me Blazing Blake for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, I'll be going to run for North Carolina. Just wait. I don't doubt it. So how you feeling? Looks like you got hurt. Not too good. On my ankle again. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to run tomorrow. Shoot. What are we going to do? Just wish they let me run twice. <laughs> yeah, then we win for sure. Yeah, well. Kyle, would you like to run at tomorrow's race? Huh. Are you kidding? I would love to. Kyle. <laughs> nay, coach, you're joking, right? Kyle, <laughs> you're gonna let him run with us? Hey, look, Kyle, he's been practicing a lot and he's gotten really good. Yeah, I'm sure that he's gotten good if this were the Special Olympics. Blake. I can't believe that you're gonna let him ruin our one shot at going to the finals. I'm out of here. Oh no, coach. Maybe I shouldn't run. I mean, I do have a disability. Disabilities don't disable dreams, Kyle. I know that you are a great runner. And soon enough, they'll see it too. Okay? Thanks, Coach. Now rest up, because tomorrow you're going to the semifinals. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes, teams. Two minutes remaining. All right, boys, bring it in. If we win tonight, that means next week we get to go to the championship. And I haven't been there since I used to run back in high school. Check it out. Whoa. Whoa. You won the state championships? Yeah. Many years ago. And now we have a real shot of winning it again together. Yeah. Let's do it. You guys got this. Look, guys, let's be real, okay? Don't get your hopes up. After all, we have him running on our team. Blake, don't talk about Kyle that way. Yeah, come on, man. That isn't cool. Guys, I'm just... Telling it out is, okay? Time! Let's go. Good luck, guys. Hey, don't worry about him. You just worry about running a good race tonight, okay? Good luck. Runners, take your positions. On your marks. Get set. Yes, good start. Good start. Good start. Good start. Good start. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed up. Come on, catch up. Yes, we're in the lead. We got this. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Pass to Kyle. Oh, oh no! Oh, I knew it! Yes, come on, come on! All right, yep, there we come go. Yep, you got it. Come on, you can catch him. You can catch him. Let's go. Let's come go. On, let's go. Kyle. Let's go. Come on, come on! Faster, faster, faster! Yes, yes! Come on, come on, let's go! Yes! Come on, 
Faster, Blake! Faster! Faster! Come on, Blake! Let's go, Blake! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, we almost... Yes! <laughs> yes! Blue team! Blue team wins the semifinal! <laughs> I can't believe we did it! We're going to the final! Yes! Yeah. And no thanks to the gimp. Hey, don't talk like that. You should apologize to Kyle right now. No. Look, I told you guys, we never should have let him run. He almost ruined our chance to get into the championships. Ugh. Hey, don't let him get to you. Yeah, you did great. I don't know how I dropped the baton. That was so embarrassing. Look, hey, it's all right. That could have happened to any one of those runners out there. You're just saying that to make me feel better. I don't know what I was thinking. I only have one leg, I can't be a runner. I was such a fool to even dream of getting a scholarship and running a college. Kyle, don't say that. Remember when I told you, just because you have to- Just stop! Stop. I appreciate you giving me the chance. But I'm just not meant to. I'm not meant to be a runner. I'm not meant to. I dropped the baton. What are you talking about? <sighs> Remember when I told you I won championships back in high school? Well, what I didn't tell you is in the semis, I dropped the baton. See, look. gosh, how did you guys win? Well, luckily, our anchor, he ran his fastest 100 meters ever, saved us, and we made it to the finals. But can you guess who ran his fastest when we made it to the finals? You? Exactly. So one bad race does not define one's career, just like how one disability. Doesn't disable my dreams? Exactly. So keep practicing, because next week, you are going to be running in the championship. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Yeah. Kyle stands there more inspired than ever to go after his dream of being a runner in college. The next day, he's one of the first to arrive on the field and practices running for his 100 meter race. He trains harder than he's ever had to before, pushing himself further and further than he ever thought possible. With Coach Garrison's help, Kyle even breaks his own record and runs the fastest 100 meters he's ever ran before. He can't believe it. Okay, boys, today's the day. We're gonna take that championship trophy home with us. Yeah! Yeah, not if Kyle drops the baton again. Hey, that's enough. He already feels bad about that. Oh, and I forgot to mention that Kyle will be our anchor tonight. What? No. No, no, coach, are you kidding me? I always anchor for this team. Are you trying to make us lose? Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea, coach. Uh, yeah, coach, I mean, we should save our best for last. I, no offense, Kyle. It's okay, coach. I'll just... No, I've already made up my mind. Now you all just have to trust me on this one, okay? Now come on, let's win this race. Yeah. Listen, if you mess this up, I will make sure that you never run again. Gimp. Hello everyone and welcome to the finals. Woo! The winner of today's meet will be taking home the championship trophy. Yeah! All right, boys, bring it in. 
Okay, let's get it, let's go. Let's, let's get it. Do it! Let's go. Hey, you got this, all right? All right. Runners, take your positions. On your marks. Are you sure it was a good idea to put Cal as an anchor? About to find out. Get set. And here we go. Oh, he's already in the lead. Yeah. Oh, dude, come on! Oh, nice pass! Yeah. He got this in the bag. Hey, come on, come on! Yes, keep going. Give it a Blake. You got this! Come on, Kyle, don't Kyle. drop it! Let's go, let's go Kyle! Kyle. Let's, go, let's go, Yes! Great job, Kyle! Go, Kyle! Oh, you got this, Kyle. Yeah. 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 Whoa! Look how fast he's running! Yeah, we're not out yet! Yes, keep going! We can go. still win, Kyle! Yes. I can't believe how fast he's going, wow! We won! We won! Let's go! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 Great job, oh everyone! Yes! That did so good. <laughs> I'm in shock. Because we won! Yeah. 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 yeah! This is unbelievable! <laughs> yeah. Here you go, guys. Congratulations, champs. Well deserved. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hey, look. If anyone deserves this, it's, it's Kyle. I mean, look, without you, none of this would have been possible. You really saved us out there, and uh, I'm really sorry for ever doubting you. Here you go. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Let's go, Let's go Kyle. Kyle! I very appreciate this, but this was all a team effort, so. Here you go, coach. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go, coach. Give it up to coach. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, Blake. Oh, oh my! Oh my gosh! Are you a scout from North Carolina? Yeah, and I was wondering if, if I would like to join the Tar Heels. I absolutely. Are you kidding me? I, this has been my dream forever. Actually, no. I was wondering if you could move out of the way so I could talk to Kyle. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Hey, Kyle, amazing run out there. I'd love to talk to you uh, running for us, if you're interested. Are you kidding? Y yes, absolutely! <laughs> awesome. We have wait, a great pro-, pro Wait, wait, but, I mean, he's, no offense, but he has a disability, so why would you want him? Okay. So? Look, disabilities don't disable dreams. Yeah! Yeah! Is that a vase or a deformed fish? Again. Yes, Miss Renee. Thank you, thank you. Let's see how your still life is going, Donnie. Well, it's, it's a little rough, but uh, I can fix it. I can fix it. It's almost been three weeks and not an inch of progress from you. These lines are still too shaky, and these curves are way too lumpy. Well, uh, with, with my Parkinson's, uh, I can't help certain things. 
So I decided I would make something more interpretive. Is that the right word? I'm new at this. Interpretive? Yeah. This is an art technique class. There's absolutely no room for postmodern abstract expressionism. Well, maybe it'll be better when I'm finished. Oh, spoken like a true novice. Attention, everyone. I'd like to show you an example of what not to do. This sketch looks more like still dead rather than still life. If you expect to continue in this class, you must master my methods or else you will fail. Try again, this time without the shaky lines. I still have a Parkinson's. Well, then maybe you shouldn't be drawing now, should you? He's trying his best. You don't have to be so mean. I'm just prepping him for the real world, Frida. People don't buy drawings from artists they feel sorry for. They buy them from people they feel inspired by. Now, if you're looking for a teacher who's going to sugarcoat things, I'm sure there's a lot of other art classes out there. But if you expect to stay in my class, I require perfection from all of my students. No exceptions. Don't let her get to you. I think you're doing fine. I actually really like your drawing. Thanks. You know, I've always wanted to be an artist. When I was growing up, I never made time for it. But now I have time. I develop Parkinson's, so isn't life ironic? Wow. Your drawing is so much better than mine. You belong in a professional art class, not, not here with us. <laughs> I appreciate it. You know, it's funny, I actually dreamed of going to the Rhode Island School of Design when I was growing up. And now I've finally gotten in, but I can't pay the expensive tuition. So you're right. Life really is ironic. I know you're just gonna do fine. <laughs> Silence! Art requires total concentration. Sheesh. Can't do anything around here with Cruella DeVille. Even though she's talented, I've read some of Miss Renee's online reviews. People had some things to say. I wouldn't take her comments too personally. Thanks, but you know, I can't help but think her criticism of my artwork is just spot on. Yeah. Can I see one of your sketches? I don't know, you know, it's kind of embarrassing. I, they're not that good. Donnie, art does not have to be perfect. It just has to come from the heart. All right. This is beautiful. Who is she? Someone who means a lot to me. You should have this framed. Not just because it's special, but also because then you can see how much you've improved. I don't know, you know. I've never really shown anyone my artwork before. I'd be embarrassed hanging that up. You gotta stop second guessing yourself. Come on. How can I help you too? My friend Donnie would like to have this framed. Oh, this is really nice. I think we have something on sale that'll work with this. Should I go get it? You honestly think it's good? Of course. See, so look at the eyes. Hmm. So powerful. You might be right, Frida. I might have a knack for this after all. I told you. Is it done yet? Yeah, I will go get it for you. Oh, well, hello there. Hi. Hi, Miss Renee. We were just talking about you. What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up my latest masterpiece. I'll be selling my art at La Galerie Nouveau. That's French for... The New Art Gallery. I heard of that place. It's, uh, it's where the rich go to buy art, isn't it? Well, maybe you do know one thing about art after all. Here you go. Uh, thanks, but I didn't ask for the extra frame. Oh, no, that's for him. Does this work? Yeah, that's fine. That's good. That's You're good. going to put something in a frame? Don't tell me you actually sold something. No, it's for his own home. <laughs> well, I was going to say. <laughs> so what does this rinky-dink little frame have the misfortune of putting on display? <laughs> um, I was gonna put that there. What is this supposed to be? It looks like a jellyfish. No, it's a woman's face. It's beautiful. Huh. 
Well, to tell you the truth, I liked it better when I thought it was a jellyfish. <laughs> no offense, Donnie, but I wouldn't be wasting your disability money putting that in a frame. How could you say that? I told you I don't sugarcoat things. Now this, this is a work of art. This is going to make me a pretty penny tonight at the gallery. <laughs> Are we done here? Yeah, it's already paid for. Have a nice day. Look, Donnie, I'm all about believing in your dreams, but my short son wants to be a basketball player, and I had to tell him, well, you get the idea. Take care. Yeah. Ugh, I can't stand her. Maybe she's right. You know, I don't need that frame. Just forget about Not it. Not a huh? problem. No, no, Donnie, you can't let her discourage you. You know, I do have a limited income, and I, I really shouldn't be spending it on framing a worthless drawing. It's not worthless. I'll pay for it. No, listen, listen, I can't, no, I don't want you to do that. I mean, if anything, you should be spending your money on Rhode Island tuition. If I didn't believe in you, I wouldn't be doing it. Consider it an investment in your future. You know, you really didn't have to do that, but thank you. You're welcome. Hey, what are you doing tonight? I don't have any plans. We should go to the gallery. We meet people, uh, get inspiration. Uh, I, you know, I Donnie, just... we're artists. We should go. All right, fine. But only because you bought me this frame. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye. This is amazing. Oh, I hope I get to sell one of my paintings here someday. I hope you do too. I know I never will. Hey, don't say that. You know, some people say that marketing yourself as an artist is just as important as the art itself. Try to have a little confidence. What are you two doing here? Uh, um, uh, uh, we're looking for some inspiration. Go find it somewhere else. I'm trying to sell a painting and I don't need any distractions. There's a big time art dealer here. There he is. Yahoo! <laughs> you two don't belong here. Please leave before you embarrass me. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, Miss Renee. It's Renee, but you can call me anything you like, you scoundrel, you. <laughs> oh, my, have you been working out? Uh, not exactly. So, are you still teaching at the adult school? The Adult Institute? Yes. <laughs> Should we go? She doesn't own the place. Let's stay. If you say so. I wonder what they're talking about. I think that's called schmoozing. Ugh. Mm. Oh my gosh, is that shrimp? Mmm, Johnny, they're so good, come try one. Uh. Here, you need a hand? I got it, there. You gotta try the sauce. Whoops. Oh, here, let me. Uh, I can handle it, I can handle it, I promise. So, Henry, I was hoping that I could hang this in your gallery. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. My dress <gasps> and my painting. How did this happen? Uh, it was an accident. This gentleman accidentally bumped into me. You! I, I didn't mean it. Just because you can't make art doesn't mean you have to ruin mine! You know it's not his fault. He has a disease. You know what? That's it. You're expelled from my class. What? I knew you were going to embarrass me. Now, I'm not going to ask again. Please leave. Or do I have to get the owner? All right, I'll leave. Frida had nothing to do with this. Sorry, everybody. Donnie, wait! Just one minute. One second. Frida, hold on! You did not have to treat him that way. Oh, yes, I did. He doesn't belong in this world. And a word of advice, sweetie. Be careful who you hang out with. It looks bad on you, too. Oh, save it, Gertrude. You didn't just lose Donnie, you lost me, too. Oh, great. Go on, get out of here, you little art school reject. Yeah, that's right. I heard all about you. Go have a pity party with your old cripple friend. You two deserve each other. Were they with you? Oh, no, just some former students of mine. Let's see, where were we? Oh, yes, you were telling me about what gym you work out at. <laughs> I don't. I just wear tighter suits. Oh. <laughs> you didn't have to leave. You should have stayed. You should have just stayed. 
<sighs> Ms. Renee was right. <sighs> I'm just an embarrassment. Donnie, that is not true. You have talent. I've seen it. Thank you, Frida, but admit it. You're just, you're just being nice to me. <laughs> I, am, I am not just being nice to you. If you keep working on this, you could really be somebody someday. And maybe you could even sell your art in one of these galleries. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. An artist. With Parkinson's. What was I thinking? You know, there are so many artists with disabilities that make it, right? There are? Yeah. Maurice Kajewski. He's a 23-year-old Polish artist. He was born without arms. He paints with his mouth. I never heard of him. Okay, uh, Paul Smith? He was born with cerebral palsy. He uses one finger and a typewriter to draw things. One finger? Mm. You're joking. No, I'm serious. There are so many artists with disabilities who are famous, who have figured out how to do what they love, and they sell paintings. How do you know so much about this? My dad. He was disabled from the waist up. He learned how to paint with his feet. Hmm. He would put a paintbrush between his toes. And whenever anyone would question why a disabled man was painting, he'd say, I don't have a disability. I just have a different ability. What an amazing person. Yeah. I'd love to meet him someday. Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to meet you too. Unfortunately, he passed away some time oh. ago. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. I... It's okay. He lived life very fulfilled. He would have loved to have been an inspiration to you too. Thank you. Frida, I'm never, never gonna forget this. You know that woman you asked about, the one I got the frame for? The one that means everything to me? Yeah, who is she? It's my wife. She always encouraged me to draw, even after I got Parkinson's. That's why, that's why I'm dedicating my first painting to her. Yeah. She sounds like a really amazing woman. She was. But I never took her advice and started painting until, until after she passed away. Life's ironic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It really is. You know, now that I know that story, there is absolutely no way you can give up. That's right. That's right. You're absolutely right. If not for proving Ms. Renee wrong, Ugh. I should do it just to, to prove my wife and your dad right. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Let's call Ms. Renee Gertrude. <laughs> she hates to be called by her first name, so I think it's all we should use from now on. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna leave her a negative review. With Frida's help, Donnie is once again inspired to keep going after his dream again. He keeps practicing his art. And whenever things get difficult and he feels like giving up, He remembers why he started and keeps on going. As time goes on, his skills really start to develop. People are impressed by his work and embracing his disability makes his art unique and stand out more. To help Donnie get more exposure, Frida makes videos of him letting the world know about his life. He inspires people all around the world and quickly develops a following. Before long, 
Donnie starts selling lots of paintings. Some because people are so touched by his story. But the most common reason is people just love his art so much. A lot of time passes, and then one day, Miss Renee is about to get a big surprise. <clears throat> Lovely to see you again, darling. <laughs> Can I steal you for a moment? Sure. What's up? Well, I just wanted to see what the highest bid was so far. On my piece. There have been a couple of people who have taken a look at it, but no real offers yet. Actually, I take that back. Someone offered two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? Well, a frame is worth more than that. Ugh. Must be amateur night. Who are the art connoisseurs with real money? You're not going to believe this. Someone just offered fifteen thousand dollars. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Go ahead and tell them I accept the offer. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for your piece. I meant for his. Him? Wow. Isn't that a record for first-timers at this gallery? Yes, it is. By quite a lot, actually. How is that possible? Who even allowed him to display his art here? Actually, I did. But Donnie's been all the buzz lately. His story went viral on the internet. I'm surprised you didn't hear about it. Oh, sorry. Give us a moment. Donnie, I've got great news. Really? Oh my god, that's incredible! Oh, thank you so much. What could you have possibly made that someone would spend so much money on? Unless you had somebody else draw it for you. Gertrude, what a pleasure. Actually, it's this piece here. I call it Frida. Yeah, I named it after a person that uh, has really inspired me. This? But why would anybody pay so much money for this? I mean, look at all the wobbly lines. Actually, that's the real reason I bought it. It really makes it stand out. Absolutely. I agree. And that's what makes the art so unique, like all other Donnie paintings. It's so interpretive. Well, you know, it doesn't hurt that the girl is so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Donnie. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Excuse me. Oh, hold on a sec. A word of advice. Maybe if you started being nicer to people, then you could sell a painting. Oh, be quiet. I don't need to take any advice from you. Oh, well, an ex-student of yours with a disability just sold a piece of art for more than you ever will. Isn't life ironic, Gertrude? You don't have to be so rude. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you didn't like things sugar-coated. Have a nice day. Honestly, I am very flattered. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, Donnie. Uh, my son here has cerebral palsy, and I try to tell him all the time that that shouldn't stop him from going after his dreams of becoming an artist. Do you have any advice for him? Well, as a wise person once told me, don't think of it as a disability. Think of it as a different ability. See? I told you. Thank you so much. It's really amazing how far you've come, Donnie. Congrats on everything. Thank you, Frida. But you know, I could never have done this without you. That's why I want you to have this. What's this? It's a blank check. So now you can finally go to that art school you always dreamt of. Donnie, I can't take this. Of course you can take it. You helped me when I first started out. So just consider it an investment in your future. Hmm? Thank you. You're amazing. Honey, so 
Did you sell it? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mom, you won't believe this. What is it, Ronnie? I won that three on three basketball tournament. I even got MVP. You did? Yup, I told you I could ball. Oh, a letter came for you. It's from the school. I hope it's that raise that we desperately need. <gasps> oh, you poor thing. I'm sorry. You're having to unload the car all by yourself? How do you even drive such a big car? Hand controls. Thanks for asking. Oh, cool. Uh, you know, I was in a wheelchair once for two weeks in high school, so I know what you're going through. Do you now? Yep. Oh, no, here, let me get that for you. I got it. Here, let's get you going. Oh, thank you, I got it. Okay, oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Let's take a photo together. For what? You know, to, to raise awareness on how you should treat people with disabilities. Um, actually, I'd rather not. And for the record... <gasps> Got it. <laughs> people on my Facebook page are going to love this. Wait, do you need me to push you? Please stop worrying about me. Have a nice day. <sighs> oh, nice. Oh, jeez. I thought you were going to hit me with that thing. My legs may not work, but I'm not blind. Uh, well, you did kind of come up on me a little fast. I almost had to give you a speeding ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me help you with that. Oh, I got it. Thank you. I mean, I was just trying to help. But wait, wait, I do want to ask you a question. You must know Sam, right? Sam? Yes, yeah, Sam Altman. Well, he's my brother's friend's cousin. He's also in a wheelchair. No. Believe it or not, not everyone in a wheelchair knows each other. Excuse me. Oh, hello again. I had one last question I wanted to ask you. I'm sorry, what? Oh, um, can you tell me Why what? are you crouching down like that? I'm just trying to be polite. I thought you couldn't hear me. Is there a reason why you think I can't see or hear you? Um, no. Can you hear me from up there? <laughs> yeah. Great, well I can also hear you from down here. Please excuse me. Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. Hello. Hi. Here, here, let me get some of that. I can you. do it. So, what happened? What do you mean? Well, your injury, was it a car accident or skiing or? Uh, it'll be 1979. I, I got it. No, why would you do that? Because I feel bad. I know people in wheelchairs typically don't make a lot of money. Let's just get another No, stuff. I don't want to take a photo. Got it. There you go. <laughs> just trying to raise awareness here. Oh, wow. Talk about being ungrateful. Did you see how she just acted? Next. You don't have to be so rude, you know. Excuse me? Well, you could just be a little bit more grateful considering everything I've done for you. That is exactly the problem. You think that just because I'm in a wheelchair that I need you to do things for me. Or because your legs work, you're somehow superior. What? No, it's not that at all. Then why else would you assume I need help getting things out of the car? or off of the shelves in the grocery store. And 
Why would you feel the need to pay for my groceries? <laughs> really? I was just trying to be polite. <sighs> Did you pay for anyone else's groceries today? No. Did you help anyone else get things off the shelves? Well, no. You see that person over there? Why don't you help her out of the car? <laughs> don't be silly. She doesn't need any help. Exactly, and neither do I. Just because someone has a disability, don't assume they need your help, especially when they don't ask for it. I get along on my own just fine. Thank you. Someone's having a bad day. You know, you asked me earlier what happened to me, and not that it's any of your business, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. You see, my mom had a very difficult birth. The doctor told her my spine was so badly damaged, I'd likely never be able to move my legs. But that didn't stop my mom from loving me with all her heart. As I got older, it was frustrating at times, doing what most people would consider to be a basic task. But since the beginning, I always figured out how to do things on my own. Over time, I became more and more self-sufficient. I always appreciate people trying to help me, but I'm perfectly capable of doing things myself. So you see, even though it hurts sometimes being in a wheelchair, nothing hurts more than when people assume I need help or treat me like I can't take care of myself. Oh my gosh. I had no idea that was the case. And to be honest, I just thought I was doing a good deed. It's fine. I know a lot of people have good intentions. It just gets tiring when people only see me for my disability. Nothing else. Sorry, ma'am, but you're running late for your 2 p.m. meeting. Should I push it back for you? No, it's okay. I was just leaving. Thanks. You must be her caretaker? No, uh, I'm her assistant. Assistant? What do you need an assistant for? Well, contrary to what you said earlier about people in wheelchairs not making very much money, I actually own a business, and I do quite well for myself. Don't be fooled by her modesty. She has over 200 employees. And even though I could easily afford a caretaker, I don't need one. Uh, wow. I guess I never should assume anyone with a disability needs any help. I am so sorry. It's okay. Thank you for paying for my groceries. Have a good day. he walks so weird? I heard he just transferred here. Ugh, he's walking towards us. Hey, is it okay if I sit with you? Actually, we were just leaving. Let's go, girls. I, uh, hold on. Where are you going? Can I come too? No. Just stay away from me, all right? You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. All right, let's pick teams. I'll be the first captain, and Kelsey, since you're the birthday girl, you can be the second captain. I'll start with Megan. Okay, I'll pick... Wait up, I wanna play too. Uh, Tanya? I'll take Cameron. Uh, Bryce? Eric? I'll pick... Stephanie. Yes! Sorry, loser. You didn't get picked. Now scram. Kelsey, please. I, I want to play too. You heard what she said. 
get lost. So, we'll wear pink tomorrow? Yeah, it's Wednesday. Kelsey! Wait, why is your dad with the gimp? <laughs> I don't know, but I gotta go. I'll see you girls tomorrow. What are you doing? Wait inside the car. Oh, uh, look, we picked up your cake for your birthday. We even got it. Oh, 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 oh. my cake! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I just lost my balance. This is all your fault. If you didn't have that stupid lip, none of this would have happened. Hey, Kelsey, it's okay, all right? It was just an accident. He didn't mean- I don't care. Why did he have to transfer him to my school, huh? I don't want anyone to know he's my brother. It's embarrassing. I wish I had a normal sibling. believe that you would say something like that to him. You need to apologize right now. Well, it's true. I mean, why does he have that weird limp anyway? Dad? What's wrong? Kelsey, <clears throat> your brother didn't want us to tell you this, but I think it's time you know the truth. You see, when the two of you were little, you played together outside all the time. Both of you were inseparable. And then one day, something happened that would change all of our lives forever. You ran out into the street and you didn't see a car that was coming. It almost hit you, but your brother saved you. He pushed you out of the way, getting hit by the car himself. Almost sacrificing his own life to try and save yours. When we got to the hospital, the doctor came in and told us the bad news that he would never be able to walk normally again for the rest of his life. And since that day, your brother has always walked with a limp. But he never let that stop him from loving you. So you see, your brother limps because he saved you. You were just too young to remember. I had no idea. He didn't want us to tell you because he thought it would make you feel bad. He loves you so much. Ugh, there's that weirdo again. I hope he doesn't come here again. Grant, over here! Why don't you sit with us? Kelsey, what are you doing? Why would you want the GIMP to sit with us? Actually, he's my brother. The best brother in the world for that matter. And I'd really appreciate if you don't call him names. What? <laughs> you can't be serious. You want him to sit with us? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> We'll just find our own table. <sighs> Let me help you with that. Oh, uh, thanks. Also, do you want to play dodgeball later? You can be on my team. <laughs> I love that. It's really sweet of you to do the dishes for Tristan, baby. I got a D? I've never seen this before. Uh, you know what that means? Maxie's just so sweet. No concert. You know how badly I want to see Drake. I'm going to tell her after. I've been awfully generous to your brother lately. What's in it for me?